Hey guys, what's up? It's Rocket House 54 here, and in the 17th day of 25 days of Rocket House, I am going to be doing a movie review on Jingle All the Way. Uh, now, the movie is directed by Brian Levent and stars Arnold Schwarzenegger as Howard, Sinbad as Myron, Phil Hartman as Ted, Rita Wilson as Liz, uh, I think I know who this guy plays, I'm not exactly sure, Robert Conrad, I think he plays, uh, a Johnny, yeah, Johnny, I think that's who he plays, and, uh, Jim Belushi as, uh, the, the mall Santa, like, the Santa Claus that's in the mall, but, um, yeah, so basically what this movie's about is about the dad, played by Arnold Schwarzenegger, um, he tries to, um, get his son, uh, down below here, Jamie, he tries to get his son, like, this, uh, doll he wants for Christmas, and it's, like, this, uh, Turbo Man doll that he wants, uh, and, like, he goes to the, and it's, like, Christmas Eve, and he goes to a store to, like, try and find one, and there's nothing, and there's, n and there's nothing there, and also along the way he runs into a, a mailman played by a Sinbad, and he, um, and, uh, Sinbad also wants one for his son, and, and, uh, what they did was, uh, like, they keep trying, like, they keep looking all over town, but then, like, along the way, um, well, actually, no, I'm not gonna say anything, because it's kind of a spoiler, um, it's so, like, they keep, like, trying to find it, and no store carries it, because, like, like, this, because, like, everyone wants them, <coughs> And, um, so yeah, it's basically the direct plot of the movie, and, um, also, like, Phil Hartman kind of, like, he plays, like, this, uh, divorced dad that has, like, uh, this son that, uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger's son keeps hanging out with, and, uh, Phil Hartman's, like, keeps, like, kind of, like, trying to hit on Arnold Schwarzenegger's wife, who, the, fun fact, the, the one that plays, uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger's wife in this movie is actually Tom Hanks' wife in real life. But, um, yeah, that's basically what the plot of this movie is about. Uh, I actually really liked it, but this did not get good reviews from critics. I don't know why. I don't see what's wrong with it, because it's a perfect example of, like, the holiday rush. Like, really, like, infamous, um, like, holiday rush events. I'll give you some examples. Like, uh, the Tickle Me El Elmo apparently was very popular. Same with the Cabbage Patch Kids, but I don't think I was alive back then to really, to, to even experience that, or even to remember that, but the one, and this reminds me of it the most, the one infamous holiday rush that I remember, that I, that I kind of always think of whenever I see this movie, is the rush over the PlayStation 4s and the Xbox Ones for Christmas. In fact, um, since I live in Canada, we have like a, a Canadian superstore here. And when me and my dad went in there one weekend to get something, I don't exactly remember what we were getting, but uh, right on the front door, they said, um, we do not have any PlayStation 4s or Xbox Ones or something like that. And I was like, geez, even Superstores run out of them all. But yes, like for whenever I watch this movie, I always think of like the really big holiday rushes like Cabbage Patch Kids, Tickle Me Elmo, and the PS4s and the Xbox Ones. Um... But yeah, this, see, this was also the uh, Family Fun Edition, which has um, this extended director's cut um, with footage that wasn't shown in theaters. I think it's like five minutes longer. And you can really easily tell the differences between the theatrical and the extended, because it's not like just like little like one second shots like other movies have, like such as um, Bad Grandpa, Scary Movie, and Jackass. Uh, this actually has, like, lengthy scenes. Like, there's this one extended scene where Arnold Schwarzenegger goes up to this woman to ask... Sorry about that, you guys. The, uh, recording stopped because I didn't have enough, uh, space, so I had to get rid of some stuff. But, uh, I was, as I was saying, um, he gets, like, um, he's, like, asking, like, this, in, in the extended director's cut, he's, like, uh, asking this one woman for her Turbo Man doll, which, fun fact, the woman he actually asks for the doll actually plays uh Lisa Simpson in The Simpsons, which I thought was actually really cool. And um another noticeable difference is there's like an extended musical number when he goes to like visit like this Santa place. 
And there's also an extended scene, like, um, when they're, like, driving to the Santa place. And there's also a extended scene where he's, like, going to, where he's, like, driving, where he has, like, a tow truck to bring his car home. And I think there was one more. Uh, I don't real. I don't know. I think there was, like, one. Oh, yeah. It has uh, an alternate ending, which I'm not going to, well, it's not alternate, but it's like an extended ending, which I'm not going to spoil because it is literally just the best thing ever. So I'm not going to spoil the ending, the like the extended ending, because it is like literally one of the funniest endings ever in movie history. Um, But yeah, like this movie was not well received by critics at all. Again, I do not know why. Maybe because I don't like Arnold Schwarzenegger. Like, he's fine, but like... Sometimes it's really hard for me to take Arnold Schwarzenegger seriously. Like, I think that's probably what people don't like about him, is I can't really take him seriously. Like, that's kind of what I feel like when I watch some of his movies. I just cannot really take him seriously. So, like, I don't hate him or anything. It's just, again, I just... Sometimes, I, most of the time, I can't really take him seriously. But, yeah, this is actually a pretty good movie. I highly suggest you check this out and, uh... I suggest avoiding the sequel to this, which is barely even a sequel, Jingle All the Way 2, with Larry the frickin' Cable Guy. I actually watched that uh, last Christmas. Well, I didn't finish it. Well, no, I might have. I don't remember. But I started watching it, or maybe I might have finished it. I don't remember. But Jingle All the Way 2, it was actually not as bad as I was going to think it would be. Because, like, like, I was like... I don't like this movie at all, but I don't hate, I, like, Jingle All the Way too. I was like, I don't like this movie at all, but I don't hate it. It's, like, in between the middle there. Like, Jingle All the Way 2, I'd probably give it, like, a D plus for Jingle All the Way 2. Because, again, like, it, like, it's tolerable. Like, I can watch it, but, like... Jingle All the Way 2, again, it's one of those movies where, like I just said, you don't, like, like, it's, t like, it's a tolerable movie, but you don't have to watch it. So I'd probably give Jingle All the Way 2 a D plus. Um, like a high D plus, low C minus. Um, kind of leaning t more towards a, a, C a D plus, but anyway, back to the first one. So yeah, uh, I suggest you check this out if you haven't seen it. Like, a lot of people don't like it. I suggest you at least check it out if you haven't seen it. And, um, anyway, uh, I actually really like this movie. It, again, it's like, it's better than like some of the Christmas movies out there, like Jingle All the Way 2, which Jingle All the Way 2, in my opinion, shouldn't have even been made. But, uh, anyway, um... Uh, Jingle All the Way, I thought it was a pretty good movie, and, uh, I, I think you will enjoy it, and, uh, I'm gonna give Jingle All the Way a B plus. So guys, let me know what your thoughts are on Jingle All the Way, and Jingle All the Way too in the comments below, and, uh, that's really all I have to say for this review. Subscribe for more content, and remember you guys, whenever dressing up as Santa, say no to drugs.